week two, day seven. Uh, so this morning I officially weighed in at 161.3 pounds uh, and 18.9% body fat. So going back to two weeks ago, which was the, uh, the beginning of this prep, uh, I'm down four pounds and half of a body fat percentage. So things are moving in the right direction in that regard. Uh, strength is still feeling good. Uh, my hunger hasn't been too bad. Uh, my ketones have been definitely elevated. Uh, I'm averaging this past week like 0 0.4, 0 0.5, which is two times what I was um, the previous week and then also during uh, last year, uh, just consuming so much food. Um, so that's that's good because ketones are um, leucine sparing. And as I've said in previous videos, uh, leucine, which is a amino acid, um, when when we don't have enough ketones and the body is looking for energy, it will look to break down muscle, it'll break down leucine, uh, but having ketones present will preserve the leucine and your muscle and break down fat instead for energy. So those have been a little bit more elevated. Um, Food-wise, this week, uh, I was consuming my pre-workout drink uh, prior to my exercise and roughly 45 minutes to an hour after I finished training. Um, I had breakfast, which was uh, four eggs cooked in two tablespoons of butter, and then I had a cup of coffee with five tablespoons of heavy whipping cream uh, alongside all my pills and supplements that I take with that. Uh, my lunch, again, just like last week, was a uh, keto brick, a chocolate malt flavored keto brick. Uh, and then my dinner, uh, this week I bumped up an extra ounce of my 8515 ground beef. So I was having uh, seven ounces of 8515 ground beef. Uh, and I dropped one tablespoon of pork fat. So instead of doing two tablespoons, I was doing just one tablespoon of pork fat. So that came out to uh, 25 grams of total carbs, uh, 115 grams of protein, and then uh, 215 grams of fat. So those are my calories uh, that I was consuming for the week. Uh, next week, I'm going to bump up to 120 grams of protein. Uh, so I'm going up five grams higher in the protein. I'm going to drop my fat 10 grams. So I'm going to have 205 grams of fat and then keeping the carbs the same with 25. Um, also going into week three, I'm going to add cardio in. I'm going to be doing the Stairmaster. And the reason is, is you can control the speed on it and the time uh, versus some of the other cardios like a rower, uh, a bike, uh, or just plain old going for a run. You can't really control the variables. Days you might feel good, you might be moving a little bit quicker. Days that you aren't feeling as uh, uh, strong or just having lack of energy, you're not going to be pushing it as hard. But when you program the Stairmaster, whatever speed you put it at, it's going to keep going at that speed and you have to force your body to keep up with that. Um, so by, I'm looking forward to doing that starting this next week. And uh, I'll give a little bit more detail about that uh, in future videos. But that's what I'm going to be doing this next week. Um, just some of my thoughts I've had. I've felt great the first two weeks. Uh, going back to my uh, 2024 manifesto, consistency is key. And with my consistency with my uh, my nutrition, my sleep, uh, my exercise, these first two weeks have been awesome. Very pleased so far with the results. And uh, can't wait to see what uh, the third week has in store. So keep it locked in here. Please like and subscribe, share with friends and family members that might be interested in starting the keto diet uh, or bodybuilding or just want any type of biohacking nutrition information. Keep it locked in here and I'll see you guys next week for week three.